Job chapter 7 from verse 13 to 15. It says, When I say, My bed will comfort me, my couch will ease my complaint, then you scare me with dreams and terrify me with visions, so that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than my body now what job is unveiling to us is an experience that he was going through he was talking about how that he had taught by sleeping he can momentarily forget about his pains forget about his challenges forget about the travails that has been following him but instead of sleeping and shutting out the awareness the consciousness of those difficult plagues that have come upon him the things that he dreaded most when he tried to sleep so that he can be comforted by his bed you know job will have a good bed because he was a very wealthy man have you heard of water beds uh -huh. there are beds that in fact what has inflated them is hair so when you lie down you're not really lying down on something hard you're lying down on hair amen so job of course will have a good bed but that bed could not comfort him and his couch couldn't ease his complaint why he said that in that state of sleep instead of seizing from the challenges he was going through he began to have scary dream experience scary dream experience and as though that was not enough in that dream there were visions of the night have you had visions of the night it looks as though you are not it's not a dream it's not it's as if it's very real it's crystal clear when you wake up from such you don't forget them easily like the type that happened to uh, Paul when a man from Macedonia appeared to him and said come to Macedonia and help us now that's a vision of the night it's like it, it comes like a dream but it's more profound it leaves you with a stronger impression now the dreams scared him but the visions terrified him the dream scared him when he had those dreams and wake up he will be scared but when he had those visions and woke up he will be much more scared he would be sweating <laughs> somebody some years ago who we were inviting to church and would not come one night had well i call it a vision of the night and in that vision of the night which he dreamt about somebody took hold of a double barrel and fired at him <laughs> and so just when he shouted and thought he was dead he woke up from that sleep and discovered that he was alive and it was on a sunday morning so that day he remembered the road to the church and came and after the service he shared his experience with me he said thank god i'm still alive i'm still alive i said we bless god but you need to surrender to him because some have been hit like that and they didn't wake up so job was having dream experience that led him into bondage to the point that it influenced the outcome of his choices and his experience in the physical world next verse it says so that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than my body in other words when he wakes up from those experience he wants to die do you get it it affects his decisions 
and then it also affected his experience next verse it says i load my life i would not live forever let me alone for my days are buried a breath this morning we want to begin on the note of praying and dealing with negative dream experience and as you can see from that scripture there are individuals that have had dream experience and it impacted on their physical life what they dreamt about did not only affect their decisions their choices it also influenced the outcome of their experience as they went about their daily bread as they went about their daily activity the things they experienced were the outcome of the dreams that they have had a young man years ago slept and had a dream in that dream four dogs came against him and they attacked him killed him and ate up his flesh now when he woke up from that dream he was distressed and he felt he needed to run to the village quickly to inform his mother because he had had the revelation that the witches were after his life now he went to barb his hair before going to the village and it was the barber that shared the experience with me he said when he related the experience with him he told him why don't you go to your pastor first and go and have some prayers before going to the village he said well i'll do that later let me first inform my mom i need to quickly get to the village and he didn't see him for some weeks it was some weeks later he met with his younger brother and asked about him and he said when he got to the village he was about to cross the expressway a trailer knocked him down and he died so when you have negative dream experience and you wake up you should awake in the place of prayer don't wait for a pastor well i'm not saying you cannot pray and tell the pastor to pray but you see these days we have passed that level as believers you must wake up and take charge of things around you if you sin don't wait to get to church before you pray for mercy because if the rapture takes place before you get to the church he is <laughs> he's finished so you must learn to take responsibility for your faith and for your life i thank god for pastors we can always join faith with them but take responsibility for your life if you have negative dream experience when you wake up spend quality time in prayer and deal with it do you understand that and then if you still feel led to talk to a minister or your pastor fine you can still go about you know discussing with him but first arise and deal with it don't wake up and then wait for somebody else to deal with the issue for you the moment you are awake take time to deal with that matter so let's be on our feet this morning say father we thank you because your plan for us are good and not evil to give us a future and an expected hand therefore this morning we come before you every negative dream experience scary dreams terrifying dreams in the name that is above every other name we cancel them in the name of jesus we bind the spirit behind them in the name of jesus we destroy the works of darkness We come against negative dream experiences. Oh, my pioneer can the barapone, he like Sunday a bali can the penesque, the penesque, the penesque. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say the name of Jesus. 
every spirit enforcing negative dreams in my life i bind them in the name of jesus the outcome of those dreams in my life i cancel them in the mighty name of jesus i stop them in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and make a declaration this morning hey meto e fakalabina sko ilabino apa mete diskabara e meno tonde la baye meno saina ikande prata maye kebeno e toske e vide barapone e mi kapale mono sila kanda ina matonde barabino ske e pete e suro pono koi bara e mane pene e vai kalabano sko po e sete mene dia bana e mino tota ali kando we bind the spirit we bind the spirit we bind the power we bind the force behind every negative dream and spirits we destroy your work we break your hold we destroy your past we destroy your effect their hands shall not perform their enterprise thank you lord jesus in jesus mighty name we are prayed in jesus mighty name we are prayed thank you jesus i will be what the lord says i will be i will be what the lord says i will itself in my physical reality I command you to come to an end in the name of Jesus every agenda of the kingdom of darkness that have been put into reality into motion by a dream in the name of Jesus we bring you to an altar hand we are bought you in the mighty name of Jesus In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In the name 
that is above every other name every negative dream we've had in years gone by and recently impacting on our life negatively we cancel them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus every scary experience terrifying realities difficult challenges that have been activated by a dream we cut them up this morning in the mighty name of Jesus we bring them to an altar in this morning in the mighty name of Jesus we reverse their effect we reverse their impact we bind the spirit behind them and we declare today that those dreams the spirit behind them their impact come to an altar in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus mighty name we are prayed just like negative dream experience can bring about a difficult reality there are also godly dream experience that can transform your reality you see there are three sources of dreams dreams can come from God they can come from the demonic realm they can also come from the multitude of your activity do you understand that so God also give dreams you remember the dream of Joseph it was from God the dream of Pharaoh it was from God the dream of Nebuchadnezzar which was actually a vision of the night was also from God the dream of Jacob when he saw in his dream a ladder set up and God was seated above the ladder and angels began to ascend and descend upon him that was also from the Lord so God gives dreams also this morning we are going to pray the dreams and visions that you have received from the Lord that God will begin to bring them to pass oh Joseph dream took time but indeed it came to pass Pharaoh's dream took time but indeed it came to pass when God gives a dream you are obligated to watch over that dream in the place of prayer until that which God has given to you becomes a physical reality this morning arise in the place of prayer and lift up a cry to God Lord we we'll lift up a cry every dream every vision every prophetic word that you have spoken over our lives Lord we we'll lift up a cry to you this morning that you oh God will perform your will perform your cancer perform your word in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus in as prophetic words we receive their fulfillment this morning thank you faithful father in Jesus mighty name we are praying this morning I pray for you that every vision every dream prophetic word that the Lord has spoken concerning your life concerning your ministry your family your work your business concerning your academics concerning all that pertains to you let them be fulfilled this morning in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord Almighty bring his word to reality makes his word to become flesh in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I pray that you will esteem your word to perform it in the mighty name of Jesus and every preparation every growing up 
that is necessary for the word of God to become a reality. Let that process be kickstart now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. We give you all praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed.